and one Tobago family is calling for answers following the death of their relative. On Tuesday, the first wave movement, along with family members of deceased Joseph Francis and his private doctor, Dr. Matt, Matt Myrie, spoke with the media outside the COVID-19 facility Green Room. They claim Mr. Francis was diagnosed with upper gastrointestinal bleeding and referred to the Scarborough General Hospital, but did not return home alive. Carissa Douglas tells us more. We want to make sure that, you know, it's, it's, to me it is unfair that we just have to lose our father and not have the answers. The cries of the family of 73-year-old Joseph Francis Granddaughter of the deceased Theresia Williams said while being examined at the Scarborough General Hospital for UGIB, he was tested for COVID-19 and was told it came back positive. However, they are wondering whether he was ever treated for the initial complaint. What they had told me is that we know that he came in for the bleed and the concern is for the bleed, but he had a little cough, so they swab him and so they're going to treat him for the COVID. The family also lamented there was a lack of communication at the hospital. While Dr. Myrie said from the time of his admission, the issue of UGIB should have been treated within a six-hour period, the relatives are questioning whether this was done. And they just said that he's on oxygen, he's stable at this time, SPO2 is low, uh, asking like, oh, and, um, what? what has been given, what has been done, you know, what medicine has been administered. They can't discuss that right now, right? So they told me that um, the COVID facility is full at this time and they're looking for space. They are also concerned about the availability of equipment at the COVID facilities. In the interim that the SPO2 was lower than it was, they have no ventilators and the facility, the ventilators are in ICU and ICU is full, it's jam-packed. So she's just letting me know that just in case anything goes wrong, I can't say that they never told me anything. The family informed Mr. Francis reportedly died while being transported from one facility to another on December 17th. The first wave movement is calling for the intervention of the Secretary for Health, Wellness and Social Protection, Dr. Faith B. Israel. TTT News spoke with the Health Secretary who informed she was not aware of the matter. However, she promised to look into it and would commence at a later date. Carissa Douglas for TTT News. Responding to the claims by the family, the Tobago Regional Health Authority described the information given as inaccurate. The TRHA said they are unable to share details of patients under their care and they continue to keep in contact with the next of kin of Mr. Francis regarding any concerns.